So today, should we have a chat about dealing with things not going to plan? <laughs> Today's step two, we've got a mild tree imperial stout. Now I picked this up at the weekend at the uh, local Christmas market from um, Richard and Mary. Oh, I can't remember your name. I'll, I'll do apologise. I think it's Mary. And um, they're awesome people, right? You should go check out their story. I'll put a link in the description. They are very cool. They started the business like brewing beer, obviously, um, as a hobby. Richard started this as a hobby. I've, we've worked on enough. Like we've done little bits and pieces for Richard. Um, for maybe the last five, six years. I've known him longer than that, in so much as like to go and have a chat to uh, at beer festivals and, and all that sort of stuff, because I'm a big beer festival guy. Well, I used to be anyway. So yeah, definitely go check it out, check their story out, because that's so cool. Like in my point, from my point of view, I think that's so cool that they've started out as a hobby and they've grown into this awesome business. So um, yeah, yeah, go check them out, give them a bit of love, because obviously the, uh, the old hospitality industry has had a bit of a struggle the last few years, isn't it? So yeah, so today I, was, I thought I struggled a bit for trying to figure something out and then normally what I do is try and have a look and see how things have been going for the last week and this week they've been going pretty and I don't want to use atrocious because they're not been atrocious because I need to pull mine out of my butt and like be honest with the way things have been. They've just been hard, right? And I guess the last few, last month or so things have been hard but this week, do I say this every week? Is it every week does it get worse? I don't know. Maybe I get more tired every week, I don't know that for sure. Um, hmm. Oh, so good, man, so good. It's 9% as well, so I'll be happy by the end of the video. So what's it talking about? <laughs> it's gone. Ah, right, so, so yeah, so it's not about dealing with, because you, you could sort of argue this is the same as dealing with mistakes, but it's not, right? Because it's unplanned problems, is what I'm trying to say. So we've had a lot of this week, like a lot of, right, I'm going to do this. And I try, I talk about Paul Water sometimes, he talks about journey, he talks about planning your days in and stuff like that. And so I sit there and say, right, this is what I'm going to get done today. And I never get anything, <laughs> I never get it done because lots of things come up. And that's okay because lots, of, you know, that's just life, right? But there are times when I'm sitting there and I'm like, are you taking a mick? Like you're absolutely taking a mick that this thing's gone wrong. So what I'm trying to say is like, I'm gonna say, right, I'm gonna get these five jobs done. Uh, so first job, I'll need, for example, I needed to use my plunge saw this week, and the base has always been a little bit weebly wobbly, but the workshop's extremely cold. Well, it's, it's extremely cold for us. And um, so I came in, it's like two degrees, and the base, the cast base has sort of warped off kilter too much so that I can't cut what I needed to cut. So that's a pain in the butt. Now, like, cool, I will go, um, I will go try and do something else. So I'm going to try and do something else and then that goes wrong. And I'm going to try and try, okay, not a problem. I'm not going to get angry about it. I'm not going to get wound up. I'm a grown up here. Look, we can do this. We're going to be positive. We're going to get stuff done today. I'm going to go do X and then X doesn't work. And I'm, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's only the four things gone wrong today. I'm going to go do something else. And again and again and again. And so just recently I've been using the word consistently going wrong, consistent problems. And, um, I think that's probably a bit of a naughty thing for me to do, really, because I think that's a bit of a naughty thing for me to do because consistent is quite an absolute word, right? There's no wiggle room in there for, well, for anything, really, because it's consistently, it's definitely going to happen. And um, that's bad to use wrong, to use language like that, I think. Morty often talks about the language that you use and how that relates to the the state that we're in. God, I sound like a right weirdo, don't I? But I think it's true. Like, I think if you're constantly negative, you're going to be in a negative state, right? You're going to have, ne you're going to have a bad day. If you're const constantly, if you're constantly positive, hopefully you're going to have a good day, right? And so, yeah, saying consistently things are going wrong is probably not the best idea, but that's how I felt. Consistently things have been going wrong. The weather's been cold, so filler's not set. Filler wasn't set, so then I couldn't do the sanding, then I couldn't do the painting, then that delayed me, so then you move on to the next thing, and the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, next thing. And it's just a pain in the butt. But it is what it is. I think, I've said this before, but, you know, quite often, I 
relate, I don't know, it's a bit naughty, I shouldn't do that, but I quite often relate your self-worth to your achievements, right? I suppose a lot of us do, especially when self-employed, and you relate your self-worth not only to your achievements, but, um, but what you do. And if you can't do what you do, and then, and you're not achieving, you start to feel a little bit rubbish about yourself, don't you? And so that's a problem, isn't it, right? Because especially when you're self-employed, because you need to be on the ball and you need to be smashing it. We're still recording. My phone's had an issue, but it keeps tripping out. And it's like, I don't need that. So yeah, so where was that? So yes, we have a bit of a problem where you equate your self-worth and your, well, everything to the work that you can get done. If you can't get work done, then you're gonna start stressing. You're gonna start feeling rubbish about it. Which is an absolute pain in the butt. Lots of pain in the butt this week. So how do you deal with it then? How do you, how do you deal with it? How do you deal with it? How do I deal with it? I, I try and be positive about things. I try and just keep moving on to the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. Because ultimately, right, what am I going to do? Get wound up about it, throw my toys out the pram, and then nothing's going to get done. And I'm not in a position for nothing to get done because I have a family to support and I have a business to make sure that runs and it's Christmas soon and we've got clients to look after and got responsibilities. So as much as I like to throw my toys out the pram sometimes, you can't, you just got to get on with it. But how do you deal with it? Do you go home? Do you sack it off? Do you call it a day? Do you sit there and say, right, I've had a, like, this isn't gonna work. Do you move on to the next project? Do you move on to the next part of the thing? Do you see what, like, is it like an exam question or like an exam where you just sit there and you get all the things done that you can get done? Genuinely, I'm interested because it's, I, I quite like doing these videos and seeing how other people manage things. Cause obviously I work on my own, like 90% of the, well, I work with Michelle, but when Michelle's not here, I work on my own all the time. So it's nice to be able to see how other people manage with different things, I guess, manage with difficult stuff. Which is why I'm a little bit of a weirdo and I watch like life coach, self-help people. I don't know. Yeah, I suppose that's why I watch them. Gives you a little bit of an insight. Gives you a little bit of a, a different perspective. I love a different perspective on things. I do, I do, no, I have been getting quite caught up in it, if I'm honest. I don't know whether that's the time of the year, whether it's cold, the like the cold, the like getting dark, all the stress, all the hassle, whatever. But I have been getting caught up in it, which is a little bit naughty really, because you go home, <laughs> I don't go home and kick off, I'm not like that, but you're not really there are you, sometimes because you're all worked up and stressed out and all that. So I think it's interesting to see how people cope with it. It has been hard this last month. But that's okay, right? Because it's not always going to be hard. And if you need, like, if you're not... What is it Goggin says? What is it he says? I'm sure I've said it before. If, if you're not doubting your ability to do it, then are you really trying? He says something like, guy comes up to him and says, hey man, I'm doing what you're saying to do, but nothing's changing, nothing's getting better in life. And he's like, well, are you scared that the goals that you're setting you can't achieve? And he said, no. And he's like, well, that's your problem. Like, you've got to be scared that you can't achieve and you've got to be pushing yourself out there. So, which is why I'm working till seven, half seven at night, trying to get everything done, which is why I do what I do, I think. I love the push. I love the hassle, I love the upset. It just gets tiring when everything goes wrong time and time again. But then I guess maybe that's part of, part of the test, isn't it? Part of the plan, part of the opportunity to prove yourself to see whether you can do it or not. Maybe. Maybe I'm just talking rubbish. Maybe I've just put myself through hell. Crap. Just for the sake of it. Because I'm a bit of a glutton for punishment. What do you think? Do you think that's why I do it? Do you think that's why we all do it? I don't think so. I think we do it because we have a we have a vision, we have a plan, we have a goal, and we're just like, right, well then we'll just do what we need to do to get to that point. I think that's a good way to be. So, yes, before I finish the rest of this 9% bottle and get smashed and, oh, I'll tell you what, so warm by the fire. I shall see. Shoot, scoop. Okay. That's what I'm going to do on the go. So anyway, please let me know below what you think. 
you can drop it in the comments, you can put it in the DM if you don't want other people to see it, it's not a problem. Uh, genuinely interested, I'm genuinely interested in how you deal with these problems and genuinely interested in what you think to what I say. And if you have any ideas on anything that you'd like me to comment on or talk rubbish on, by all means, let me know. Again, drop it in the DM if you don't want other people to see. Stick it in the comments if you don't care. I am. Um, I'm going to go home and have a hot shower and see my children and eat a warm meal and be thankful for the little beautiful things in life that really matter. Like them. Because that's really what it's all about, isn't it? It's why we do all of this. I love it. I love the stress, I love the push, I love being out in the cold, I love all of it. But I love my kids and I love my mis my missus, I love Michelle and I'm going to just go home and enjoy it. I hope that's helped somebody, I hope uh, if it has, hit the like button, drop us a little comment below because it all helps and like if I'm just talking to myself like a weirdo, um, yeah that's no good is it? Wow, well, I don't know. Bit weird if somebody walked in now i'm sat having a beer by the fire talking to nobody <laughs> but yeah you'll have an awesome evening you take it easy have a good weekend and um i should catch you on the next one all right oh yeah go check them out okay have fun